Little scorpion action in the morning. How you doing, buddy? Can they jump? No. How you doing, buddy? I'm gonna pack it out. That's one of the ones that stings real bad. Yeah, it does. All right, good morning. So as you can see, the scorpion's right next to the tent poles, which is real nice. Must have been like right under the tent all night. Yeah, I'm super happy that we haven't been cowboy camping. Yeah. Um, a lot of snakes, a lot of scorpions, a lot of, I don't know what else. Fighting insects. Fighting insects. Okay, so today's the third day on trail, April 20. 20. 20. Wow. So Magpie's going to do some celebrating today since she's Canadian born. Rude. Okay. Um, but. Implying I brought weed over the border. I did not. She did not. So this was the camp spot I was showing you yesterday. Yeah, as you can see now in the daylight, it's not super great, but it was uh, it was enough. Like the views are pretty, but the camp is not super great. So we got four or five miles to connect into the AZT. It's gonna probably be a schwacky four or five miles. And then um, just AZT hiking, pretty sweet. All right, I'm gonna pack up the tent poles that are next to the scorpion. That scorpion feels very Grand Enchantment Trail. Yeah, pet the black and white striped ki kitty of the woods. The smelly kitty. So, apparently there's supposed to be trail off to our right somewhere. But in all honesty, I think the wash is better walking. And we even saw a cairn. So, I don't know. We're going to walk the wash for a little bit. This is Rogers. Oh, Rogers Canyon. Folks, I love it. It's like we're doing a little bit of Dookie Duke action. Um, just climbing up this wash. So the trail again just kind of peters in and out of the wash. So at a certain point, it's just more, quote unquote, easier to walk the wash. So that is what we're doing. See, you can see a little cairn. Just keeps crossing, but we're wash walking. Yeah. Oh. Do you pack heavy? It was slick rock. It was slick rock. Yeah. We are bouldering, folks. A little bit of bouldering in the morning. Oh. Yeah. I'm out of shape. <laughs> Fair. So we're about a mile and a half, a little, little bit less from the AZT, the junction of the Arizona Trail and the Grand Enchantment. And as you can see, um, pretty good water. Every so often the wash gets a little dry, but uh, still holding pretty consistent good water through here. So yeah, mile and a half from the Arizona Trail proper, where we connect in. So also, I would recommend walking the wash. So we have a few times just tested out the trails back in here, but all they do is like five seconds in and then come back to the wash and then cross and then do some loopy stuff. So I will just recommend walking the wash. Dun, 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 dun. I just heard you fart. We should dun, get dun, out of dun, here. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, yeah. All right. About... Kind of, yeah. This actually is. So about a mile from the AZT. We're trying the trail again. Wash is like right there. But, um... Still water in it too. Yeah, still water. Fantastic camping. That's a good spot. That's really nice. If you're shooting for Rogers Spring, I would even say camp there instead. Um, Rogers Spring is off trail, and there's good water around here. So, Gucci. All right, we found the ACT. Look at how well defined this trail is. It's actually beaten down. So the rest of our day, well, yep, the entire rest of our day is Arizona trail hiking. Um, so we're gonna just see what it brings. I don't remember the Arizona trail and the superstitions being especially difficult, but we shall see. I think we're going the wrong way. No, we're not. Nope. All right, Magpie was right. We were actually on the wrong trail. 
come up to the junction, found the Arizona Trail, and now I think we go that way. Yes. Or this way. No, we go this way. I'm gonna double check the maps. Oh, baby. Zoom, why don't you? Why are you not, why are you not picking up the detail? One second. Why do you not want to pick up the detail? Rude. I didn't want to pick up any of the detail. Hi. Coming up so quick. I know, I'm trying to keep my momentum going. It's hard to film while you come up so quick. So, we just ran into two AZTers. It's super fun seeing hikers again. Really nice folk. Um, Lightning and Susan. Lauren. Um, Lightning and Lauren. Oh, it's two. like half a mile of getting on this trail, we saw people. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing when you do trails with hikers again. It's really nice. So, I actually had a nice little chat with them. And now we're just cruising. Don't really have a care in the world because today, if it's just all AZT, we can do whatever we want to do. I actually remember this trailhead. I've been trying to remember some of the areas and it was, as we were getting closer, definitely remember this trailhead and signing this Hi. book. I think this is where Cy and Hardy left the Who's Gonna Carry the Boats, actually. I think it is. It definitely is. I remember this. Who's gonna carry the boats? We're gonna carry the boats. Yeah. Uh, All right, up at 5,000 feet. Um, pretty much the end of our climbs for the day. So, pretty much just drop all the way back down to Picket Post Trailhead. So, yeah, nice little climb. Now we just go down, to down, down, down. Well, not right now, but we're getting close. Oh, that's pretty. Ooh, so that's Montana Mountain up there. I very much remember this road walk. Um, we took lunch at one of the outcroppings of Montana Mountain. Um, somewhere in there, maybe. Even that little bowl right there. I very much remember this. So cool. So cool. Yeah, 2019, last time we were here. Time flies. Hold on to it. Or let it go. Um, I guess you can't hold on to time. But um, yeah, it goes quicker. The older you get, the quicker it goes. Beautiful. This is the view off the spurt of Montana Mountain. Last time we were here was three years ago. We sat right here and took lunch. And once again, it's gorgeous. The trail's back there. Did you find the, you found the rock we sat on? Still, oh, still is a good view. Superior's right there.
All right, so after that descent, you play a little wash hopping. Um, really not in any good water. Apparently the Grand Enchantment water source book or guide says there was a stream right at the bottom of the descent. Did not see anything, saw a very smally alginated pool, but nothing that I would want to drink out of. You could get through it in an emergency, but apparently there's mud spring in 0.7.8. So we're gonna shoot for there for lunch. I'm gonna pour out one for said homie. It's a dead cow, it's very sad. Once we reach water, I'm gonna pour out one for, for my brethren. I love you, bud. I do love cows. All right, about 0.2 from Mud Spring. There's this beautiful pool of water we're collecting from. The trail is like 50 yards through that brush. Um, just follow the seepage and you'll find better and better pools of water. So Mud Spring potentially could have had water, but this was good. Didn't want to pass it up. So we're filling up here and then gonna go find a shady spot for lunch. Sounds good. It's like 1230. Perfect timing. Perfect timing. All right, so we're soaking in the hiking camaraderie while we can. Can't wait to do trails with hikers again. Um, ran into Bam Bam, um, mismatch, and I didn't get the other gentleman's name, but Bam Bam. I name already. Yeah, Sorry. Magpie was chatting with that guy. Um, so Bam Bam is doing, apparently going to do a yo-yo the Great Divide Trail starting June 1st. Good luck, bud. You're going to die. Idea. You're going to die. Bad idea. Um, no, knock on wood. You'll, you should be fine. Just bad idea. Um, so I don't know. It's just been really nice today. We've had some good chats with some other hikers. So it's been nice actually palling around with uh, hikers. <laughs> I can't. It makes you really, really miss these popular trails. So can't wait for trail magic season. That's going to be real nice. And Magpie's hot. No, not hot as in that type of hot. She's like hot weather hot. I am too hot. Yeah, she's too hot sizzle. All right, Wood Camp Canyon. Um, there's water right there. It's okay. It's pretty stepped out by cows and pretty alginated. But again, you really could make it work if need be. It's clear enough. But it's cold, so Wood Camp Canyon. Got a little bit of that agua.
All right, so the road right above us is the road into Superior. Um, we're about a mile, a little less from Picket Post Trailhead. But once this stops being just a glowing orb of light to you and we get out of this tunnel, we're gonna have to bushwhack. Oh, one more tunnel. Um, after this next tunnel, bushwhack's a strong term, but we're gonna have to just wash walk about a quarter mile to our right to hit picket post windmill, which is gonna be our water source for the night and maybe about 20 miles tomorrow, depending how dry it is. So yeah, we're gonna go find some agua for the night. It's like 5.30 and then hike for another hour or so. Cool, cool. Hey baby, how you feeling? Look at all those salt stains on her. Nice. All right, so this is the windmill, pick a post windmill. Um, as you can see, windmill. So this looks green, but when you fill it up, I think it's just the algae at the bottom. It doesn't look terrible. My water, can you hold the water? That one. It doesn't honestly look green. It's, it's a little cloudy, but it's okay. Yeah, so there's a cattle trough down yonder that you first walk by, that brick wall. And there's water in there, super scummy. There's one pool that is clear. You could dip in, but yeah. it looks worse than this. Yeah, it's clearish. So, I don't know. We're just going to filter this. Um, but there is a lot, a lot of water. I don't see this going dry really anytime soon. So, we're going to filter a lot of water, maybe drink a liter, and then just mosey to camp. All right. Oh, this is heavy. Yeah, so Magpie's got six liters on the back. I got five and a half. So, as we were filling up here, like... We were talking about what water sources we prefer. She prepare, prefers the deep stuff. I prefer the even shallower trough that's just nasty. But we were sitting here and talking and a goldfish like this big came up to the surface and did a flip. So I don't know if it was actually a goldfish, but that's at least where my mind goes. It's like- It was some kind of an orange fish. Yeah. This concrete cattle trough. Blows my mind. Where does it come from? How did it get I here? It's spring. It's just stuck here forever now. That fish never can go anywhere else unless somebody catches it. This is where the fish lives. All right, come to this spring and look for the mis mystery fish. I mean, that, that means that this trough always has water. Yeah, that's nuts. It's a pretty big fish. Where did the fish come from? Oh. oh, did you just see it? The video might have picked it up. I wasn't looking. Some, I just saw the ripple. Something happened, though. All right, there it is. I'm not bullshitting you. That is a fancy goldfish. That's a big goldfish. It's like an aquarium goldfish. Yeah. Where'd it go? Put a goldfish in here. Where'd it go? It's still there by the pipe. There it is. I don't know where it went again. It's under the water, under the pipe. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's eating the algae off the side of the wall. Right there. Down it goes. It's coming towards me now. That's a big fish. It's a, it's like an aquarium goldfish. It's not like a wild fish. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Who put, who put a fish here? How did this happen? It's blowing my mind. There's a fish in this tank. I know. We didn't uh, have to go to the, uh, the fish tank after all. All right, so we're going to still update the Grand Enchantment water source, but... There wasn't a cache here a little while ago, but now there is. No, in 2019 when we came through, there was not a cache. But now there is. And there's a lot of public water in there. One, two, three, four gallons of yeah. public. That's nice. And a couple gallons for someone else. And some peanut butter for you, baby. I'm good, thanks. Yeah, I'm good too. Oh, there's ramen in there too. Ooh. There's like extra food. You see ramen? Yeah. I might have and like a ramen. Full... All right, so since we already did the walk off to the fish pond, we didn't take any water. Um, leave it for somebody that needs it anyway. We, we got enough fish water. But these are... Yeah. These are new. These weren't here last in 2019, or at least I didn't notice them. No, they weren't here. Um, it's nice that they're providing, like, a place for hikers to wait. If, uh, Sometimes can be a long wait. Yeah, if they're trying to hitch in a trail or have a ride situated. Yeah, we have to wait, what, 45 minutes to get a ride in the superior? I think so. Yeah. This was here. This is new. The How, sign is different. The detail? Yeah. Yeah. Tonto National Forest is giant. 
All right. Man, they really did a lot of improvements here. Yeah, they've done some work. Good job, AZT, or good job, Park Service, or good job, uh, Forest Service. Somehow this bug killed a tarantula. Where are you dragging it to, bud? Where are you dragging it to? That's pretty bonkers. What is that? How did that bug kill that? If anybody knows what type of bug that is, holler at me. That is pretty intense. Wow. There's those desert sunsets. Nobody knows the sunsets I've seen. Nobody knows. Real pretty. Good day. Good day. <laughs>